Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to talk about the integration between the creative community called Behance and Photoshop. When you check the file menu, you will find a new option here called Share on Behance. Now, if you are not familiar with Behance, it's a huge website where you can find amazing examples of creative projects. And let me just show it to you. So that is behance.net, where you can search for creative projects uh, by genre, or you can follow designers, and you can also share your work. It's one of the best uh, online portfolios that you can create uh, for free. But the great news is that for Creative Cloud members, the pro site on Behance, which is even better than the, just the normal uh, portfolio, is now free. So for anyone who has uh, Creative Cloud membership, also can create a pro site on Behance for free. These are just a couple of examples of uh, pro sites, but well, let me just show you one of them. So this is something that you can create uh, with Behance and using Creative Cloud together, a very professional uh, portfolio website. And once you have a website or once you have a, a Behance account, you can uh, join that together with Photoshop. So you can set it up in Photoshop CC, and then you can upload your work in progress to your Behance uh, portfolio. So let me just go to uh, Photoshop. And here, let's just say, I would like to save this as work in progress. So I go to file, share on Behance, and Behance is starting preparing my image for sharing. And because I've already logged in previously into my Behance from Photoshop, it doesn't even ask me about my account. If you do this for the first time, you will have to uh, type in your username and password for your Behance account. But because I have that already, I don't have to do anything else. I just need to give this a tag. I will probably just type in wanted. I would be able to write even a comment on it. And uh, I can see the preview here. I can set also who can uh, see this. And at the moment it's set to visible to everyone. And I can also change the title. Let me just type that with a capital W, like that, Western. And I click on continue. Now I can select the cover image, which can be something like this. That will be good. And then I crop cover and publish. And believe it or not, it's already on my Behance portfolio. So that was it. There's the link where I can see it or I can view and share it on Behance. So let's do that. And you can already see that this is uh, tells me that it's successfully uploaded and I can check my work. Now, this is a work in progress. It's saved as a work in progress. So I can always add new versions to it. And I can do that once again straight from Photoshop. So if I go back to Photoshop and continue working on this image and maybe I put myself there in the background <laughs> like that and I decide to uh, upload this as the next stage of the design, I can go back again to share on Behance. And now because I already shared one version of this uh, document on Behance, this dialog box is quite clever and it knows that this can be the continuation of the previous upload. So I will have a little bit different options here in the dialog box. As you can see, I can choose either to upload this as a new work or a revision or next stage of a previous project uploaded, which in this case is the Western. And uh, again, I can add more comments why I added more uh, designs to it or why I added myself in the background. And then I can click on continue and once again, I can crop this and cover, crop the cover and publish, and that's it. Again, let's see it on Behance. Now here, we will be able to see that at the bottom, we have the previous version and the new one. So I can switch between the previous one and the second stage. So you can see how easy it is to share work in progress with your colleagues or your clients through your Behance portfolio using the new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC. 
If you are interested about the other new features, then make sure you check out the other videos here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.